Hello and welcome to the second part of the C Sharp Maze game tutorial. In the last video we created our base shapes class and then our box class. And in this video we're going to finish off our shapes by doing the dialog box. So let's get started. Right, our dialog box is just going to be the same as the box but only with an extra line on it. But still, we could need to create another class for it. So at the end of the box, class, just create a new one. So public class dialog box. Dialog box. And let's go in head shapes. Now, because it's, it's a box with an extra line, you're going to actually declare a new box class. So to do that, just put box. Let's call it box equals new box. Like so. Now, our create function to find, uh, takes in the variables and assigns them to these up here. But of course, you don't want them on up there because our dialog box is not going to do any drawing. It's all going to, well. It is one line, but our all our box our box needs them instead. So what we're going to do is we're going to override our create function. So instead of assigning these variables, we're going to get them to the to the box. So to do that, we're just going to override it, the create function. So public override. Then you see there's create just and so on that, so we don't need to type it. Then do box dot create. Then just pop all the variables in there. Pass size f color v color. Like so. Simple. Now we just we need to draw it. So we need to override our draw function as well. So public override and then draw. And in here we input box dot draw. Now, if you if you just compiled that, well, I've tested that, you just draw a box. But instead, we are doing a dialog box. We need to draw an extra line. So to do that, after the draw, we're going to draw the line. So how are we going to do that? We're going to do a for loop again. But no, actually, yes, a for loop again. So we're going to tell it we need to tell it where to go first. So console dot set cut oh cut position. We're going to go one in from the for, from the start of the box box X. So push so box because all our variables are in the box class. Remember dot position dot X add one and. Now for y box dot position dot y add two because we need because the zero is the top border one is the space we need for the title and two is where you can draw it so semicolon then underneath that we're going to do a for loop for int I see w because zero W is less than box dot shape size dot width minus two, I believe. I think it may be one. But let's do it two first, so W plus plus. And in there just press enter. We're just gonna draw our horizontal horizontal double pipes again, so console dot wipes. Then remember it's alt two five. And let's just save that. Now that should draw our box with our uh, little bar underneath it. So let's, let's test it. Go into program and just change the dialog box, no box to dialog box. Dialog box. It's new dialog box. There you go. Just change that. Compile it. And there we go, you can see we've got a nice little line there. But if you look closer, there's a little gap there. And there's an easy fix we could do. We could there's a junction we could put in. And I think we should do that. Because it look because it will look good better. 
Back in the shapes class, what we're going to need to do is change it in the box class now. This, this involves changing our vertical pipes thing. But firstly, how do you know? Because it's a box class, how do you know it's going to be dialog? dialogue? Parameters, you may be saying. And, and there, you'd be correct. But of course, we can't just put parameters in there because it, it's inheriting it. So we need to go up to the base uh, shapes class and in Dwarf, you need to put it in there. So, bool is dialog. And we're going to equal that to false. So, if even if it, we didn't actually need to provide a variable in there, value in there, because it all might be false. But in the case of the dialog box, we put, we put it to true to say it is a dialog. Just pop it in the copy that and pop it in the drawer. Oops. Pool is dialog. Actually, put that in there. Right now, to draw our junctions. So, on the vertical pipe thing, that's just going to leave there. Put some braces in. Okay, put that back in there actually. So, now we need to check is it a dialogue? So, if is dialog then we we need to actually draw our junctions so where do we know where junctions are we need to check the height so if h equals two if you, if you remember it's two down from the top then if w is equal to zero so if it's on the left hand side we're going to do console dot right then we need to put in our junction, which is the character code for that is uh, alt two oh four. So you know, if it if it's dialog h h is two and it's zero, with zero, then for the left junction. Else, if w equals shape shape size dot width minus one then console dot right then we need to do our other junction and that is alt one eight five so you call so there we go we got our pipes make that to else so if it isn't then it draws our vertical pipes and also we need one that an extra one then there Otherwise, if it's not, then we just draw the pipes again. Scroll down to the uh, double box, and in the box that draw, we put a tune there. So, hopefully, that should draw our nice little junctions. Let's just have a look. And yes, you see, there's no, there's no space. I know it's only a pixel, but still, it looks, it looks better. But I know. But as part, change that background colour to black. You can probably see, see it better. There you go. It does look quite good, doesn't it? Yes. But there's one thing we missed from it. A title. You better add that in. Now the same applies for this as it did for the its dialog available. It's, we need to do the same for the title. Because it's gonna be in the, we can put in the create. We can't just put it in there because we inherited it. So we had to go back to the base class, and at the end, I'd put string title, and that's it equals um, empty string. So we didn't actually need to provide the title if it didn't, one's not needed. So scroll down here and put it in there. So string title. Like that. So we can just we don't we don't put it in there because it's bot the box doesn't need it. But of course we need to easy draw it. So we actually need to keep a reference to it. So that's like a new string variable here. Title. Well you could do get get sets here if you wanted to. No, it's not really any need. So we actually just we just leave it out. So title. So there put 
title equals title. Then we're going to draw, draw it in. So, oh dear. Console dot set cursor position. Box dot position dot x. Two says can be space at the end, and box dot position dot y plus one. Then console. Oops, same column. Console dot y title. Everything, yep, that's, that likes it. So let's go back to our program and test it. Let's put a title in. Hello, hello, world. Compile it, see what happens. Ooh, got an error. Oh, there we go. What the heck has happened there? I'm sure I did that, didn't I? Yeah, so compile it. Right, there we go. It's drawn it, as you can see. It's popped over the edge. Now, we don't want that. So what we can do is actually dynamically expand it. So to do that, let's do it. In the Shapes, shapes class, and the create, we're just going to do a simple comparison. So I'll put it underneath that. So if title.length... Now we can do this in the console because it's the characters. And the box uses, is... The box border is always one character each so this actually works if you did it in forms it wouldn't work so if text length is greater than greater or equal to then box dot no, actually you haven't actually created it yet size no actually it's best if you pop this no yeah Okay, pop this down underneath the create. So if title the length is greater than or equal to box dot shape size dot width. If so, then box dot shape size dot equals new size uh, title dot length plus one box dot shape size dot height. Now the reason why we make a new size is because you just can't do assign the width for you. You can't just do dot width for equals this. It just, it, you can't just can't do it. So we can you set the box shape size to the text length add one. So it's gonna be a space on the end. So that's that's compile it and see if it works. Hopefully it should. Then Ah, there we go. And it didn't. Why is that? That's because we've also indented it by one there, haven't we? Actually, by two. So yeah, we need to add another two onto it. So three. Yeah, make that four. Then you've got our space. Yeah, see, nice, nice space there. It's nice. It's it's actually centered. If it's too small, it the it will center the bit the string. But if it's bigger, it would be line to the left. You can easily add some code in to make it. Centered all the time, but can't be bothered to do that right now. Actually, one more test. Hey world, this this box expands to fit the text. See that? Let's compile it again. And there we go. You see, it expands to fit the text. Lovely, isn't it? Well, that actually concludes this part of the of the tutorial. So thanks for watching, and the next. In the next video, we'll be finishing off our classes by doing the, the main, main uh, not main menu, the menu class. So join us next time.